So my presentation was uh, aimed at giving an overview of what the energy outlook for mid-century and beyond is, both in terms of total energy use, uh, but also what, uh, what demand for vehicular uh, use there will be, uh, energy needs for that, uh, biofuel opportunities for meeting those needs, uh, and then finally, uh, sort of a brief look at renewable technologies and how renewables uh, might play a role uh, in the future energy mix. Well, I think th th this sort of thing is important because it brings people together. Um, it, energy is a, is a huge enterprise, uh, going all the way from fossil fuels to economic modeling, policy, how do we build cities for the future. So bringing the people together that have all those kinds of interests so they can see how they can work together to create a future that, that's sustainable and, and better for all of us, I, I think it's really important. Well, so the future is very bright. <laughs> There's, the, the good news is uh, that the, the population in the world's becoming economically better off. Uh, GDP globally is going up. Uh, we're getting more efficient at how we use our energy. So the, the energy intensity is going down. So the amount of energy we use uh, per unit of GDP is going down. It probably will decrease by about 40% by mid-century. Uh, not, nonetheless, total energy use will go up because uh, GDP is going up and, and there are more people. So developing countries play a number of, of, of different, very important roles in, in the future here. Of course, one of the obvious is that the developing worlds are going to be the place where there is large growth in energy use associated with growing GDP. Um, there's going to be the opportunity to, to, to deploy entirely new energy technologies. So if you, if you project out and look at the mix of energy technologies to 2050, say, um, the largest growth in renewable technologies will occur in, in the developing countries uh, in the world. So I think the, the main point I would, I would leave for Colombia uh, is to, well, I'm, I'm going to cheat and, and, and have multiple sections to this point. One is to take advantage of, of the vast resources Colombia already has. So it has, for example, vast natural gas resources. The natural gas is a low carbon uh, fossil fuel. So that can provide Colombia with a low carbon path to a future energy mix. Uh, secondly, Colombia has a very large wealth of uh, renewable hydropower, and that provides it with a rather unique opportunity to grow a large renewable electricity mix uh, in the future and provide a storage uh, to deal with intermittency. So when the sun's not shining or if the wind dies, how do you provide electricity? And that large capacity of hydro is, is something that most of the world doesn't have. You have a big challenge and, and a big opportunity.